Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a praise in the house.
strong for that also, and he called the name of it Sitna. Thank you. 
and divine yourself with a promise. The promised seed. The one that God said, I'm going to bless. The one that God says, I'm going to elevate. We find him in the book of Genesis chapter 26. And we see where he is having an experience similar to that of his father. Come on, talk to me some more. We see that there was a famine in the land. When we talk about famine, it speaks about food short or scarcity. Um, it speaks about poverty. It speaks about lack. It speaks about drought. It speaks about things that go the way ought to go. Famine was in the land. And his father also experienced the same situation. But shows us that sometimes as children, we encounter some of the very same situations as our parents. Come on, talk to this other party. Some of us, we get married to abusers. And if we check it out, our man or mothers were married to abusers. Some of us got pregnant in our teenage years. And if you check it out, your mama got pregnant when she was a teenager. Come on, talk to this other party. Some of us got out of school. And if you check it out,
He had no child. But God said, in your seat, all nations are going to be blessed. In your seat, they're going to be like the sun in heaven. He was yet to have a child.
who's on the side. So if you're a Christian and you're not facing opposition and everything is smooth and happy in your life, I would ask you to check your status. Which side you're on? Because if you're on my side, the Bible says that the weapons of the warfare are coming up, but not to the bottom.
and suddenly. Yeah. 
us all. Amen. Can you pray for me? Bless you.
made room. After all that we've been going through, and after all that we've been through, God is saying, I'm getting ready to make room. But to be honest this morning, we have some situations that we need to dig through. Some stuff that we need to dig through in order to get to that next level where who is provided. And to dig is not a physical dig, it's a spiritual dig. I hope the scripture earlier that the weapons of all fear, they are kind, you can see them physically, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The person that you're holding on to, you're going to prophesy over it. You're going to release a word in your spirit. You don't know where they are. You don't know what they're going through. But you're going to speak a word over it. And as that person speaks that word over your life, receive it into your spirit, snatch it, hold on to it, and believe that God is about to give you the greatest victory of your life. So yes. Squeeze that hand. I'm 
Et donc là, on 